So I mentioned I did find a product that I was looking at just for fun. And it's this right here, this little weighted hula hoop. Now, if you want to order a hundred of these guys, look at that shipping, $809. It costs almost as much as the product does just to ship it here. So your buy cost is effectively getting doubled just to get it here. So just to follow along on this product example, right? So let's say, let's just round it up to $20 per piece, right? That's what we're going to pay to get it here. $20 per piece. Now the market over on Amazon, you know, it's pretty decent. We can use helium 10 to go ahead and use the x-ray and it's going to give us that information. What's up guys, Josh here from the Everyday FBA YouTube channel. And the other day I put a poll up on the community tab asking whether or not you guys were interested in learning more about private label. Now I don't know the results, I'll go and I'll check them in a minute, but I had already kind of made up my mind beforehand, before I even put that poll up, that I was going to look more into the private label direction and see what I can do, learn more about it and get into the business. So that is exactly what I plan on doing. Now I'm not leaving like the whole arbitrage game or the media game or anything like that. I'm just looking to add this, I'm looking into it. Basically, I'm looking for a challenge. I'm looking to learn something new so that I can teach you something new um, and, and hopefully you know, build a good brand and a good product along that process. Let's check that uh, results of that poll and I'll talk to you a little bit more about why I've decided to go ahead and go after a private label product. All right guys, so over on the channel, you can click over to the community tab and here I can post different stuff Sometimes it's polls, sometimes it's not. And I did post one day ago, is private label something you want to learn more about? 58% of the votes said yes and 42% said no. There was only 74 votes, so what is that really? 74, 58% said yes. So 43 of you guys said you want to learn more about private label. And that's great. I'm glad that you're going to come along with me on this little journey. Although, uh, from what I have learned over the last... Uh, just 24 hours, just digging a little deeper in it. There is a rough road ahead, but I'm glad you guys want to learn more. Uh, here's another uh, poll. My channel now has a membership option. Would you join? And if yes, what perks would you like? 25% said yes out of 55 votes. The whole membership thing with YouTube, I think it's kind of weird. I don't, I've been thinking about this, but I just really don't know what I could possibly offer you that would get you to be a member of a YouTube channel. I don't know. It's just weird. But if uh, you know you guys have ideas, let me down, know down below. So private label. Over the last 24 hours, like I said, I'm still just kind of diving deeper into this kind of stuff. I've actually watched a few YouTube videos myself because you know what? That's where I learned how to do pretty much everything in my adult life, guys. From from fixing my car, doing the work myself, to learning how to run a business. It's all been just on YouTube, and you watch videos, and then you take action. Imperfect action, but you take action, and that's what I'm going to be doing with private label. You know, I'm gonna try to arm myself to my best of my abilities. You know, I've been looking at Helium 10. I've been playing around with it with that little free version that they give you. And you can see I only have one search remaining uh, for this. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the plan at some point and start paying for it. So if I really want to get serious and start looking deeper into finding a great product. So right out the gate, you know, I'm having to put some money down, but I mean, I am serious about learning more about this. So I will definitely do it at least for the month, just to really see all that it can do and all that it has to offer. I mean, you've already kind of found one product with it, but this is just one small cost, right? Right up front out of many costs to come. One of them is like the shipping cost to get stuff actually uh, found. So I mentioned I did find a product that I was looking at just for fun. And it's this right here, this little weighted hula hoop. Now, if you want to order a hundred of these guys, look at that shipping, $809. It costs almost as much as the product does just to ship it here. So your buy cost is effectively getting doubled just to get it here. So just to follow along on this product example, right? So let's say, let's just round it up to $20 per piece, right? That's what we're going to pay to get it here, $20 per piece. Now the market over on Amazon, you know, it's pretty decent. We can use Helium 10 to go ahead and use the X-ray and it's gonna give us that information. So we got a nice high search volume. You know, there's 225,000 people searching for this product. $31,000 in revenue on average, $37 average price. That's a little concerning for me given that the product it's going to be $20, you know, just to get here. So we'll have to look at the numbers a little bit closer. Uh, average BSR and average reviews, which is not too high either. Some of these people, you know, only have, okay, so this one has 99 reviews, but is doing quarter of a million dollars in revenue. We got this one with 30 reviews doing almost $50,000 
in revenue. So I feel like this is a market where you could come in and carve yourself a little piece of that pie, right? By either improving on the product, packaging it differently, adding some other accessories, doing something a little different and go ahead and carve yourself a piece, piece of this little 5,000 uh, that this person has no reviews whatsoever, no reviews, and it's generating almost $5,000 in revenue. So uh, there's a lot of potential in private label, I believe. I, I think there's still opportunities out there, or at least maybe that's just me being optimistic, you know, but I'm also a realist. I'm very logical in everything that I do. So I have a good understanding that there are going to be some, some issues that are going to happen. Uh, that I'm not going to like, and it's going to cost me money, and it's going to cost me money. But I'm fully prepared to do that. And like I discussed or kind of mentioned on in the previous video, you know, I'm in a position right now where I want to challenge myself, and I have the means to do it. If I can, you know, toss a few thousand at this, uh, hopefully not much more than that, just to get a baseline and learn, guys, because that is what I'm talking about doing, learning imperfect action is what we're talking about and it's going to happen and it's something that you should do too maybe not with private label maybe you've been following along with the online arbitrage or the retail arbitrage videos so you know go out there and get it stop watching start taking imperfect action anyways guys this is basically what i've been doing for the last 24 hours or so man just going through and playing with this stuff just really just playing with it and uh, seeing what it can find me so there's that weighted hula hoop, man. That's what I was checking out earlier. There was something else that I was looking. Oh, this one right here, Viking Arm Toolkit. Check this out. Okay, so 3,000 searches every month, uh, you know, $34 in price, 247 monthly sales, 8,000 in revenue. They have three and a half stars average, right? Let's click over. We'll look at this on Amazon. Look a little deeper in it. Again, guys, this is just stuff that I've been looking at, things that I've been trying to teach myself. I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos as well. And uh, look, let's look at this market here. 215,000 revenue, 4,000, almost 5,000 on average. So not a big market, but there's definitely a market here and there's potential to improve. Only 44 average reviews, 44 average. That's really, really low. And again, the reviews for these products are, you know, they're not great. They're not great. They're, this is a category that I feel is desperate for improvement. The biggest seller, who is this? Let's see, 24,000 in revenue, 23, 24. So there's a few big sellers making, you know, $24,000, $20,000, three reviews there, three reviews there, one review here. And I didn't even know what the hell this thing was, guys. I had to pick one. So let's look at this one right here. This one is doing 24,000 in revenue, has three reviews, three reviews, 37.99 is his price. And I had, I had to come look at the listing just to figure out what these things were. So basically, they're like hand jacks, right? And apparently, uh, they fail, which is why the majority of the reviews are so horrible. But if you can improve on this product, then you could definitely take over the market. Now, this is not something that I would want to sell just because of the liability of it. I wouldn't want to manufacture it and not have eyes on every single product and it fail. And then, you know, I'm liable for it. But uh, that's what's insurance for. But again, this is just not a product that I want to get into. I want to get into something that's just a little bit more simplistic in design that uh, it's not going to hurt anybody if things go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there is a lot stacked against you if you're trying to get into private label these days. But I am not afraid of a challenge. I'm going to go after it. I'm going to learn a lot and I will, you know, report back everything that I do learn. You guys can just witness the journey as I go along. Not every video that I'm going to drop here from here on out is going to be a private label video. It's just not. I'm still going to be doing tactical arbitrage. I'm still doing online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, ungating, all that great stuff that I have built this channel up to be. I'm just going to be start folding in my journey that is happening with the private label stuff. If you like that and you like this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below if you got a question or a comment. Uh, and yeah, follow the journey and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.